Good morning, staff and students. This is Dr. Williams, the proud principal of Springbrook High School, and I just want to take a moment to provide clarification for March the 21st. Turn to your neighbor and say, March 21, be in school on time. Go. March 21st, be in school on time. I apologize for any confusion associated with our SAT school test day or what we're calling College and Career Ready Day Part 2. All students are expected to be in school on time. We have several instructional related activities and learning experiences planned for today. I'm going to run through them. School will start on time. Seniors will meet in the auditorium for their morning seminar, and then they will participate in a bonding activity. All juniors will be assigned to a testing group. They will either take the SAT for free or the AccuPlacer test. Sophomores will be assigned to testing groups, and they will take a practice park test, and we're also looking at a couple other activities. And watch out, ninth graders. You will have a day filled with a, a number of workshops, personal body safety lessons, Naviance. You will hear mental health awareness presentation and a team building activity. Posters we put up around school, we will make sure individuals know where they are to report. But everybody needs to be in school on time on March 21st. Our juniors will be taking the SAT test for free. It is the real SAT. So we really want our uh, students and our juniors to prepare, to come in focused, and do their very best. Now, I want to share with you an email I received from a Lieutenant Michael Harnett, Deputy Commander, Montgomery County Police Department, District 4. Dear Dr. Williams, I want to tell you I give you, your Springbrook kids, an A plus for dedication and determination. First of all, they stayed on the sidewalks and followed the officer's directions when crossing roadways and staying on sidewalks. Secondly, they walked the entire 4.5 miles from the school to the Glenmont Metro Station. Several of us officers tried to convince them to take the multiple ride on buses to the metro station. Ride on agreed to waive fares for today for students. Not a single kid got on. I talked to several kids along the way and all they wanted to see their efforts through to the end. Unlike some other schools here, we had pockets who left the main group in part just to get out of school. Your guys are committed. So the Lieutenant Michael Harnett wanted to commend the students who did participate in the walkout. I thank you for representing Springbrook well and I applaud you for following uh, the expectations that was communicated. This is a proud email that I received because it shows that Springbrook can be at its best because of great students. So I want to thank you. I hope I've clarified March 21st. All students need to report to school on time. Thank you and have a great day. Good morning, Springbrook. It's Friday, March 16th, and it's a good day to have a good day. We hope you are ready for the weekend. Not only the weekend, but hopefully everyone is getting pumped for spring break. I'm Molly, and with me today is Kiki, and we're here to bring you the morning announcements. Seniors, the deadline to pay for Senior Bonding Day and Senior Banquet is today. You can pay for both of these events during lunch as well as before and after school. You can also purchase your Senior Banquet ticket online. The Yearbook Club will be having their last meeting Tuesday, March 20th after school from 2.45 to 4.15 in E314. They are finishing up the final pages and need all the help that they can get. Attention all freshmen! The Student Council for the Class of 2021 is making class shirts and we want your designs. Submit a paper copy of your artwork to Ms. Keller in G209 or to a member of the Student Council. 
The deadline for submitting designs is Tuesday the 20th. Not artistic? Well, you can still vote on the submitted designs. Stay tuned. Are you interested in biomedical research? There is a six-week summer internship through the FDA Oncology Center of Excellence Summer Scholars Program. Interviews will be on Friday, March 23rd. You must be 16 years old and a U.S. citizen. See Ms. Brown in G202 to sign up for interviews. Uh, juniors, have you secured your internship or job site for the 2018-2019 school year? If not, are you interested in a paid internship during the coming school year? You may be eligible if you are already enrolled in an internship or site-based work experience for the 2018-2019 school year. To learn more about this opportunity, plan to attend the information session with Ms. Nicole Brown, Internship Director, on Wednesday, March 21st, after the SAT and during lunch in the auditorium. Lastly, if you're a student already accepted into an internship program for the 2018-2019 school year, please come to the meeting today and March 23rd during lunch in E115. Class night has been postponed to April. It is no longer happening tonight, so keep your $5 until next month. If you want to help with planning class night, see Ms. Rickford or Ms. Schmutter. Everyone is invited to Springbrook's Christian Club Crossroads. They share powerful devotionals, testimonies, and lessons and experience what it feels like to put your faith into action. They meet today and every Friday during lunch in room G207. First period classes! It's almost end of TikTok time! Classes will submit the attendance slips to a box with the attendance desk in the main office starting Friday. The deadline to submit your slips is Tuesday after school. Winners will be announced next week Friday and rewarded with donuts. Have you watched TV shows like American Ninja Warrior and thought, oh, that looks like fun? Here is your chance to compete on a real Ninja Warrior obstacle course. Come and have fun conquering obstacles, racing against the clock or your friends, and becoming more fit. Rexon will be going to Ninja Beyond Friday, March 23rd from 4 to 6 p.m. The cost is free for you. Please obtain permission from the rec zone after school in the cafe or in the main gym during lunch. A reminder that English Espanol and Cambia will be held today and every Friday in March in room C310 during lunch. Practice your new language in a casual environment. Beginning this Friday, it will be first come, first serve for the next 14 native Spanish speakers and 14 native English speakers. Nos vemos el viernes. Please come to the instrumental concert on Tuesday the 20th at 7 p.m. and watch this video. Well, that does it for Molly and me, but before we go, here's a message from Miss Keller and Miss Rooney. Good morning, Springbrook. I'm Miss Keller. And I'm Miss Rooney. And we're here to talk to you about a special opportunity coming up at Springbrook next week. The Science Department is hosting a CPR course on March 22nd. Did you know that there are approximately 350,000 out of hospital cardiac arrests each year? 70% of these occur in homes, and less than half of these people get immediate help before a professional arrives. Receiving CPR in the first minutes of a cardiac arrest can double or triple a person's chances of surviving. Join us on Thursday, March 22nd to learn how to save a life. The course will be held in Team Room 2 from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. The cost is $75, which covers the class, the book, and an American Heart Association CPR card good for two years. The class is open to students and staff as well as family members and the community, which means you could bring a parent and a friend. 
To sign up, please see the, uh, visit the Springbrook Science Department website or see Ms. Keller in G209. Hope to see you there.